Hey, what's up guys? Happy Sunday. What I've got for you today is another LM741 op amp isolator. Isolator, good God. Op amp oscillator. And what's different about the other oscillators I showed you is really nothing. This is uh, based off of um, a Hartley type oscillator. But what we want to show you today is how to set up and tune an oscillator for a specific frequency that you're looking for. So let's start off with how the oscillator is set up. So first of all we have our op amp, our inverting input, our non-inverting input, and our output. We also have our positive voltage and our negative voltage. Now the first step is we are going to come off the output to a feedback resistor which we are going to bring into the inverting input but we are also going to in parallel put in a capacitor that goes to ground. All right, simple so far. Well, it's only gonna get easier because we are going to add to it a voltage divider consisting of two resistors. Oopsies that go to ground. Pardon my poor drawing. That's going to go there like that. So that is the general layout of our oscillator. And the one that I have got here uses a 1K5 for our feedback resistor, which we call RF and then R1 and R2 are both 1K. I'm just doing these values to keep everything simple. And then our capacitor is 100 nanofarad and that is going to give us a frequency of 1 kilohertz about because of course the formula for the frequency is 1 over 2 pi RC or it is the reciprocal of 2 pi RC so if you wanted to change this you can change the frequency and tune your oscillator by changing the capacitor so we have the 100 nanofarad capacitor in here giving us 1k so we say 100 nanofarad equals 1 kilohertz now if we want 100 kilohertz we would use what is it ready guesses in 1 nanofarad equals 100 kilohertz and say we wanted 10 megahertz What do you got? Do your math. 10 picofarads. So that's how you can set up an oscillator and tune it to whatever frequency you want. Now, like I said, it is about one kilohertz using a 1K5 resistor. I actually found this resistor to be um, 1594 ohms and that gives us right on 1 kilohertz. So let's uh, zoom in here and take a look at the layout a little bit better. Alright so here's our 741 op amp. Here's pin 1 
pin 2 which is our inverting input, pin 3 our non-inverting, pin 4 is our negative voltage supply, pin 5 we're not using, pin 6 is our output, pin 7 is our positive voltage, and pin 8 we're not using. So from the output we come through our 1K5 resistor set up as a voltage, sort of a voltage divider with this capacitor which is the um, 100 nanofarad that feeds back to our inverting input. Then again from the output we create this voltage divider here with the two 1K resistors and at the point they connect we feed back to the non-inverting input. So let's take a look at the output on a scope. Alrighty, there we have the results. We've got a nice sine wave there at a frequency of 1.02300 kilohertz, which is about as close as I could tune it with the um, capacitor and resistor tolerances. You can see we are at uh, 6.7, 6.8 volts peak to peak. And yeah, we're looking at two volts per division there. So two, four, two, four. Not bad. The pulse width is 508 microseconds. The rise time is 296 microseconds. If we zoom in a little bit more, we can see that there is the slightest bit of clipping on the top of that waveform there. But all in all, it's not too bad. So by paying a little bit of careful attention to your resistor values and your capacitor values and doing a little bit of math, which isn't hard at all, you can tune an oscillator to whatever frequency you want for whatever sort of function you need. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Now that's it. That's the end. It's Sunday. Go do something with your family. I'll see you next time.